I hope you're all well. You have to excuse my voice, I am just getting over the flu, both me and Jasper are, we've had it for about a week now, um, and I'm in the end of a chest infection that I can't take anything for because I'm pregnant, so um, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I don't sound pretty. You don't look pretty, do you? Little snotty nose. Hang on, let's leave them there for a minute. Okay, so today we're going to show you our Easter book collection. So this is the boys' bookshelf. This is your bookshelf, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the last one we did was a toddler book shelf collection. Um, and we've done a Christmas one before. So yeah, we thought an Easter one would be nice. So I'll start by the four new ones that I brought and then the rest are ones that we already had. Okay, so the first one, which I think is probably my favourite, is we're going on an egg hunt. Um, so you'll probably recognise it from we're going on a bear hunt. And when I saw it, I thought that it was by the same people. I just assumed it was like a spin-off of it. But it's not. This is by Laura Hughes. And when I looked, we're going on a bear hunt, it's by someone else, I can't remember who. Um, and I thought, oh, that's really, really bad that they've kind of copied. And then I read that we're going on a bear hunt is actually from a poem, we're going on a lion hunt. I think it's lion. So, um, yeah, there are actually three of those kind of poemy stories. But yeah, it's pretty much the same kind of thing. We're going on an egg hunt, we're going to find them all, we're really excited. Hooray for Easter Day. And then there's like little flaps that you can lift up to find the eggs. Um, and then, oh no, ducks, we can't go over them, we can't go under them, can't go around them, we've got to go through them. Um, so yeah, really, really similar, and then they have to go home, quick, shut the door, and have their Easter tea. Say that one. Um, the next one that I got from Amazon is Mr. Impossible. You want to hold it? Yeah. All right, hang on, let me just show everyone first. Mr. Impossible and the Easter Egg Hunt. I loved Mr. Men and Little Miss books when I was younger. I remember I had a big collection and I used to put LB for library book in them all. Um, so yeah, if you know Mr. Men, you know the general gist of it. Just an Easter egg version. Um, and I really want Jasper and Reese to get into Easter, not Easter books, get into Mr. Men books and Little Miss and stuff. So I thought that that would be quite a cute one and that was about three pounds. Um, the next one from Amazon is Peppa's <laughs> Easter Egg Hunt. Reese. <coughs> Reese loves Peppa Pig, um, and Jasper's just getting into it now. He started to ask for Peppa Pig. Um, so yeah, this is, I haven't actually read this one yet. Um, but Grandad is taking them all on an Easter egg hunt. So I thought that one was quite cool, and that was $4.99. Um, it's Spots First Easter. So I showed you in our last book one that we've got lots of the spot books. Um, like the big hardback ones like this. Um, so yeah, this is just a little paperback one. Again, it's a lift the flap. He's looking for Easter eggs, as I guess most kiddies' Easter -y books would be, um, and just finding different things like under the stairs and behind the cushion. It's all different animals and stuff. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit grubby. I'd probably maybe spray it with some anti back before I let Justin look through it. Um, I already have to be honest, but yeah, so that. And then I was quite limited to Easter books that I could find that weren't too long and too... Like, obviously, I want him to know the religious reasons behind Easter, but at his age, like, he's not going to understand the full stories or, like, a big book. What's the matter? So then I thought I'd just see what ones I've got at home, and I ended up finding loads and loads of farm books, because I think even though you can go to the farm all year round and there are always new animals all year round, like, for me, Easter, springtime, that's when all the new baby animals come out and plants grow and things like that. So I'll show you some of the ones that we already had. Um, this one is a pop-up farm animals book. It's by Kids Stuff. Um, it looks like a bit of an old school one. I think it might have been passed down from nieces or nephews. I feel like he's going to throw a book at me. Um, so for example, the horse, and it says, nay, nay, my name is Henry the horse and I live in a field on the farm. At night, I sleep in a stable with my mother. I eat grass and hay and apples for my treats. My favourite game is to race around the field chasing other horses. So it kind of is a bit more of an educational one, like at least I can say to Jasper, where does the horse live and what does the horse eat and what does the horse do? And, and then it's just the same for a cow and a goat and a pig and a sheep and a duck. So that was quite a cool one and he does like pop-up books. Um, the next one, should I swap quickly? No! Let, let me just show everyone this one and then you have it back. Um, the next one is a DK book. Um, again, this is one that was passed down to us, and it's just a touchy-feely peekaboo. It's a bit of a babyish one, it's not really one that 
like he just likes the peekaboo, the actual story part of it's not really for his age group. Um, but it's just like, where's the sheep? And where is the pig? And just finding those. So again, it's just teaching him the animals. To be honest, he knows all the animals in this one, but I kind of wanted this time of year to be about farm animals and really like brushing up his knowledge on them. So I thought that was a good one. Um, we have a farm sounds one, which wasn't actually on the shelf, it was just underneath it. Um, again, it's animals that he knows. It's a really basic story, but he likes to press the buttons and make the noises, like for the cockerel. Um, so yeah, I just thought any kind of farm ones, lift the flap, noisy ones, touchy-feely ones, whether they're a bit too old or a bit young, it's just getting that theme in so that we're learning all about farm animals, aren't we? Do it. Yeah, you do it. Press the button. The button. <gasps> what was that? Horsey, clever boy. Hmm? Okay, the next one is definitely a bit too old for him, but... I saw it in the basket downstairs and I just thought it's something that is very springtime and it's called growing. This was one that was my niece's and it looks like an old library book that's been bought for like 10p. Um, and a lot of the stuff in there is stuff that he wouldn't understand like babies grow to children and children grow to adults and the fingernails grow and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a tractor. Um, but there's things like the ducks, that um, ducklings grow into ducks and um, like seeds grow into plants and stuff and we're going to do lots of planting flowers and like different activities like that so I thought this could be quite a good one um but yeah this I'm assuming is really really old it's a Lorenz book whoa and the kind of one that you'd get in a school or at the library which is where it must have come from um but yeah I thought that was a good one to get him more into like flowers and things grow and fresh things and, and spring like stuff because this isn't just for Easter this will be spring as well. To last, Peter Rabbit, Tickle Tickle Peter. Jasper got this around the time he was born because most of you probably know but we nicknamed him Rabbit due to a funny looking scan picture and um, so we all went a bit rabbit crazy when he was born. His nursery was like woodland themed and he just got loads and loads of Peter Rabbit stuff. Um, so yeah this is really cute because it's all like touchy-feely and it's all different farm animals like baby kittens and rabbits and stuff. So that's it, that is the boys Easter book collection, the bookshelf is now empty, I need to put it all back up. I hope you liked it, next time I'll be doing our, singing, um, next time I'll be doing our new baby bookshelf, so all books to get the boys ready for having a new baby brother or sister, so if you've got any suggestions then please leave them below. And thanks for watching, don't forget to hit like and thumbs up and subscribe, repeating myself, and I'll see you next time, bye!